here. I don't remember if there's anything up here, but I'll fight the trainers up here and check. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, sorry. You still want to go out on Tuesday? I can't control my mischievous, I swear. Uh... Whoa! Mistreva! Ah! Uh. You know what? This is turning out to be a worse and worse plan the more I... Really? Oh my god. Great plan, huh, guys? And sure enough, there was nothing up there. By the way, oh my god, your feet are huge! Alright, back talk about that Beldum right there. Beldums are really resilient, but what I really like is Beldum's getting hit animation is hilarious. I'm gonna caption it, just watch. Boom. Like it like whips all over the place, it's just like Like it's just it's so weird, like just I don't know why they did that. Saying uh, <laughs> 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 missed and then it didn't affect Miss Grievous. Oh god. Alright, uh, Pokeball, let's do this. I actually don't have as many balls as I'd like. Wonderful. I don't have as many balls as I'd like, so, uh, this might go a little bit, um, awry. I, I almost said Ari. I used to actually think it was pronounced Ari for a long time. Um, let's go ahead and use that on Swablu. Now, I actually don't get that. They always make you decide what Pokemon you're gonna toss the Pokeball at, and I don't know why, because... No trainer is going to have more than... No no trainer, at least in Coliseum, has more than one Shadow Pokemon on their team. So you don't have to worry about, you know, maybe you know not throwing it to the one you want. I just feel like it's kind of a wasted few seconds and it's kind of annoying. I don't know if anyone else feels that way. But it always kind of puzzled me why you have to decide what Pokemon you're going to snag. Because there can only be one option because you can't snag regular Pokemon. You only snag the Shadow Pokemon that would be dangerous to whoever's using them. So, I don't know. We're going to go ahead and get rid of that. And... Reflex effect wore off. That's reflex effect. That sounds kind of weird. It's like, it sounds like a scientific term. It's like reflex effect. Reflex effect. That's fun to say, reflex effect. Oh my god, I've made a new word, reflex effect. I'm so sorry. I know you have to listen to me bantering on through these battles, but I don't know. I just, I thought it was fun to say. So we're going to go ahead and hit that with Shadow Ball. And we're not going to finish it off, of course. Never do. And it's doing Fury Attack. It I thought it was going to attack Miss Drevis. Dang it. Oh, and I didn't see the attack animation. I got my hopes up. It's kind of bad, though, because I'm to the point where I'm just kind of hoping for Miss Drevis to get hit with normal ground and fighting type moves. Uh, I'm just that lame. Okay, so we take out Hunter right here. Rock Slide is powered up, and it will also attack both opponents in a double battle, plus has a chance of flinching. So, Sudowoodo is pretty damn tactical. Despite things that I've said about Sudowoodo in the past, this particular one might be a little bit tough because it's also higher level than anything you've faced up to this point. It can use block to prevent the foe from switching out, so you might have that to worry about in this fight. Low kick's also a pretty tactical move because it will um, do more damage based on the Pokemon's weight. And then on top of that, you also have the fact that, of course, it's got Rock Slide with a Hardstone equipped, so that will do more damage. This thing is quite tough. Um, <laughs> Never mind! Um, but anyway, going into how it actually is for snagging, um, it can have sturdier Rockhead for its ability. Rockhead will prevent flinching. I personally recommend... Well, actually, no, I'd recommend Rockhead, though, because this is... Remember, this is prior to Sturdy getting buffed. Uh, Sturdy, later in the series, got the ability to prevent being taken down in one hit instead of just outright preventing one KO move, so I'd go for Rockhead, personally, even though flinching shouldn't happen all that often to it. Um, it's a decent enough rock type. Again, Coliseum, like I've said many times, has limited options. So, this is going to be probably the earliest decent rock type you're going to be able to get your hands on. It's got some interesting moves. It's pretty damn defensive. So, those are mainly the roles that it's going to be fulfilling if you do grab it. And I'm actually kind of worried here because I only have two Ultra Balls remaining because I was too lazy to go out and buy more. And I really have no better excuse than laziness. So... Can't really say anything there, and it's attacking Espeon. Well, okay. At least it went for Espeon and not Mistrevis. Let's go ahead and use Shadow Ball, and I'm going to use Reflect to raise my defenses here because we're actually fighting something that's attacking physically now, and I'm saying actually a lot again. I really need to stop that. All right. So, um, 
funny story about this. Um, Mir B, the first time playing through Coliseum, this was the furthest I had seen in the game for like the first two weeks that it came out. No, not because I'm slow at games, because my GameCube died the day that Coliseum came out. Again, not effective. My GameCube died the day that Coliseum came out, and it sucked because that was one of my most anticipated games of that year. So I was just so broken up. Like, granted, though, I was able to call Nintendo about it, and they were able to, um, you know, they renewed my warranty. They also repaired it for free. They covered shipping. They were really nice about it, and I, I really appreciated it. So, um, but yeah, I got so unlucky. And speaking of, you know what? I have no room to complain about my luck here. He keeps on attacking me and doing zero damage. I have no qualms with this at all, but yeah. I had to wait like a week for my GameCube to get back from repairs because the uh, day that the Coliseum came out, my GameCube died. So I was dying to play further in this game so hard. And I was having to do so much, I was just having to resist popping out my player's guide and reading the rest of it to find out what happens in the game. Because I was looking so forward to a console Pokemon RPG and when it finally came out, my GameCube died. And... That was the worst feeling in the world. First world problem, much damn. <laughs> worst feeling in the world. My GameCube died when a game came out. Yeah. All right, Ultra Ball. Let's do this. I get one more shot to catch it. If I don't catch it, I'm gonna have to try to get another chance later on. Let's use Reflect. Okay. Come on. Catch. 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 Damn it! No! Ugh. I have no one to blame but myself for my own laziness. <sighs> that sucks. I will get another chance to catch it later in the game. This is not the last chance you get to catch Mirabi Pseudo Wudo, so I will get another chance, but I'm just sad that this is the first Pokemon that I missed catching, and for no good reason other than just me being lazy. Because I didn't want to go and get Pokeballs from Outskirts Stand while I'm all the way in Pyrite Cave. I, I guess to be fair, that is a pretty long distance to walk, and I will get another chance, but still! Ah, this sucks. Alright, finish off Pseudo Wudo. Alright, finish it off. There we go. Uh, oh, what am I gonna be sad about? I'm hearing Mirror B's music. I should be happy. Okay. Let me take him out. I can't keep up with the tempo. Oh, no, no. What a no, no. No. Ha <laughs> ha.